is so cool! Yeah. Someone's gonna get painted today. <laughs> this is like the best idea ever, man. <laughs> <laughs>up everybody i'm john i'm isaac and on today's episode of cars and cameras we are finishing up our thousand cc bmw powered trophy cart it's been sitting for about two months because we've been working on other projects but in today's episode we're going to finish up the welding finish up our frame reinforcement and go ahead and get to painting and do a proper rip so let's get to it hey buddy how's it going man it was getting a little warm in there you were in there for a while <clears throat> it was good you want to see if it'll run? Yeah, I kind of do, because I don't want to put plugs in it out here. I'd rather do it in the heat, so yep. let's give it a shot. figure out like a support brace that'll mm -hmm. go here to here but something that will be like movable so we can still get in and out we can mount one of them solid i imagine and just have one that moves so we can get in and out on one side yeah maybe um yeah and i'm wondering if we need to do something from here to somewhere else yeah that's probably a good idea so now that the old BMW is running well again, we can get on to welding and finishing up our support for the roll hoop here. So there's just a couple spots I need to touch up with the welder, spots that we missed in the past, and then we're gonna be adding a couple more braces back here to kind of complete this whole roll bar area. Ike, meanwhile, is running out to grab some Pour 15, which is the paint that we're gonna be using, the base layer of paint anyhow. Um, so when he gets back and I finish up his welding, we're going to get on to painting. Alright, so... 
we're gonna go from this corner here to, I don't know, maybe two thirds of the way up on this support brace here. The only thing left to do before we get into paint is to relocate our rear top shock mounts. We want to raise the rear of the vehicle and also make it a little bit stiffer. It's a little on the soft side right now. Um, and this is to uh, mainly eliminate our drive shaft growl, but we also think it could use to be a little bit stiffer. It'll look better if it was taller too. So we're going to be cutting all of this out. It's going to get moved to right around here. So it's gonna be moving back, which is gonna stiffen it, and it's gonna be moving down, which is gonna raise it. to me like this side is picking up further than this side. It's got a pretty good lean to it, man. Yeah. I, I think that uh, what we're doing is good. It's time to start hacking the other side. Man. Did you want me to do this side? not below the frame. I think it's good. Sweet. The only way we might have a problem is if we go full compression and we like go over a stump and yeah. Which I mean, I will be fine, dude. I, yeah. So I think we're going to be okay. Cool. So, now it's time to uh blow this thing off with our air and then we can hit it with some degreaser, we're gonna use brake clean, and then we're gonna use pour 15 to paint the uh, frame with. Two coats of pour 15, we really love this stuff. Uh, you apply it directly to rusty metal. All you need to do is scuff up your metal, get the loose stuff off, and then it really likes to adhere to uh, metal that's already a little bit rusty like what we have here. So it's gonna adhere 
uh, to this surface a lot better than it is to like this surface, clean metal for example. It doesn't like clean metal. Uh, but we painted the cross cart with Pour 15, we painted our four engine go-kart with Pour 15, and it holds up really, really well. Uh, so we're gonna do two coats of this, but first we need to blow the vehicle off, we need to wipe it down with a degreaser, and we can start painting. If you wanna check this out for yourself, uh, you can find it at a link in the description of this video. It's an advanced auto affiliate link, so anytime you place an order using that link down below with our special discount code, uh, you're helping support us too. So you can get a discount on Port 15 and help support cars and cameras as well. So check it out if you're looking for some paint uh, to use on your rusty metal. Ready? And, and then we're going to paint over it because it doesn't like to, uh, it doesn't like direct sunlight. That's right. Yes. So it's a great rust encapsulator, but you're going to have to paint over it. Yes. Yep, first what? victim, elbow. Check out, out your rear end. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, now we're talking. Wow. I even did the strap for me. Yeah. Man, it looks really good. All right, so coat number one on the trophy cart is finished. It totally changed the look of this vehicle. I think it looks like sweet now. <laughs> I was like kind of ready to be done before, but now I'm like reinvigorated, re-excited. Um, Cause it looks awesome. We can probably go ahead and start on coat number two on the top. Cause it's been about six hours since it had a coat and we're just gonna go from the top down and then we need to come up with some accent colors. So this was kind of an 80s themed build, so it'd be cool to add some 80s colors into our air scoop or on a couple of like the roll hoop area or something here or there it would be really, really cool. But so far, I'm really digging this semi-gloss black. We got the cross cart, which is white, and we got the trophy cart, which is gonna be black. And it looks really cool. Got anything to add? I think we ought to two-tone it. Totally different from the cross cart. You yeah. know how the cross cart is white and black. Yeah. This ought to be black and white. Oh, that's oh, that's thinking outside the box. I know, right? Yeah. So um, if you're using Pour 15, it's gonna get everywhere, and you're gonna somehow put your hair and like arms and hands in it. I'm gonna look like a Dalmatian for probably two or three weeks. Yeah, it's gonna be a while. So if you care about your clothes, your skin, anything, your floor, you need to cover it. 
Because, uh, yeah, he got some in his hair, too. But it's fun to see this thing transform. Yep. So let's start on coat number two. It's time to start phase two of the painting process. Uh, the second coat of pour 15 went on nicely. It's time to apply an ancient painting technique known as splatter paint. And this is a 1980s theme build, so we thought we'd go with a 1980s themed paint scheme. And splatter paint is just going to work really well on these tubes, or at least they should, right? Yeah. So we got some popular 80s bright colors, blue, yellow, magenta, green. Let's figure this out. So I'm going to start with the satin magenta. Kind of looks purple to me. I mean, magenta. All right. All right, so I got this little practice box. Let's see what we get here. You ready? Yep. Oh, man. Hey, that's a winner. It's like magic. How much? Are you wearing gloves? No. Dude, I'm spraying the paint. I'm spraying, spraying the uh, paint. Oh, brush. the brush? I'm going to put gloves on. All right, dude. Are you going I'm in? Starting off. I'm going in. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Whoa, that is so cool. Yeah. Someone's going to get painted today. <laughs> this is like the best idea ever, man. <laughs> Dude, this is so cool. Dude, this is like... It looks so good. Everyone's going to be watching for straight. Something that I'm not very good at, but you know, we could uh, do flame something. Flame job? Yeah. Oh, I don't think I'm a good flame job person either. Oh, but splatter flame job would be sweet. So yeah, I think flames are like really easy to butcher. See, I feel like Z's. Flames, Z's are extremely 80s. Scallops, may also be 80s. But I feel like out of these two, this is gonna be a lot easier to pull off, and I think it looks almost as good as a good flame job. That's my personal opinion. I'm all for easier, man. Sounds good. So, Z's it is. Z's it is, all right. And what we're talking about is the scoop for the, uh, the radiator cover, basically. Our mud guard, it's just black right now. And so this would be a, the perfect canvas to kind of I don't know, put some accent colors on. So we're gonna tape it off and do like some nice splattering like we did last night. They need to be like perfect cause or else you run into like what I've got here and they just like don't look uniform at all. Yeah, I don't like that. I think we should just do one big Z in the middle. What if we, what if we did, I don't know, TK. All right, this is no better than the last one, but... <laughs> tape off the rest of the black and then yeah. go to town.
Okay, we got blue. All right. That's your color. Yep. We got green. That was my color. Purple was your color. We started with green and. Yep. Let's do it. Oh boy. <laughs> we have so many other colors to do. Yeah. All right. There we go. We're just gonna peel the tape off and do the whole thing in the in blue. Blue. That's right. All right. Wait, we gotta splatter our eye beam real quick. All right. Sounds good. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Did it get on my face? Like, cheek. Oh, I guess yeah. I felt like I got uh, something. There's like a dot. I thought I felt it. Alright, dude, I'm gonna pull off the tape. Oh, okay. Sounds good. splatters if possible are going to be the better move here. Okay. I mean, I just don't know how to achieve that. I think the blue splatter against the black was a really good call. Yeah. Because before it was like a little bit too <coughs> much. Yeah. But this helps kind of dull it down just enough. Yeah. Looks good. Did you want to add any other colors or is that it? That looks good to me. I thought there was some on the camera lens for a second, but I think we're good. All right, so we did a tester area on clear coat. The clear coat seems pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and start from the top, work our way down with our clear, wait a few minutes, hit it with a second coat. What are you doing, man? I don't know. That is quite a beard you have going. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Great. Yep. I'm ready. Oh boy, still gonna splash in. It's a nice thing about this, no one's gonna know it runs. Uh, There's too much else to look at. Bad. Ah! <laughs> I might actually like, fail on that here. That's fine. Totally in this thing. Now that the paint's dry, let's just take all the covers off and see what this thing looks like. Looking good, man. Pay no attention to the... Uh... <laughs> It'll be fine. We need to get a cover for this uh, fuse box. Yeah, we do. You know what I realized? What's that? We gotta do the wheels. Paint the wheels? We're gonna have to paint the wheels. For sure. Or get some pretty chrome ones. Oh yeah. paint is all dry. We had to pull the trophy card out into the sunlight to get a better look at it, and I think it turned out awesome. But the final touch is, of course, the radiator scoop that says TK.
Trophy car. Trophy car. So let's go ahead and install it, dude. All right. Get the front. Yeah. Uh, one of them's short and two of them are long. I know. Is fine. I feel like there's a reason. Oh. Maybe we didn't have both. All right. Pulled. So the trophy cart is far from finished, but in today's episode, we definitely saw a transformation. We raised and stiffened the rear suspension, which I think it needed. Uh, we painted the whole thing with Pour 15, two coats, and then we did our splatter paint job, which turned out awesome. It's kind of subtle from a distance, but as you walk up on it, it really looks awesome. And then we finished it off with a coat of clear coat to protect everything that's there. So like I said, there's still lots to be done. We have a lot of wiring to clean up. Um, our fuel system could be cleaned up. Wheels. We gotta paint our wheels or find some new wheels. We gotta get rid of those janky uh, lug nuts. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we might even do body panels, but I think it's turning out really great. Man. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know about the body panels now. I was thinking body panels before, but now that we've done this, I, I just don't think we need body panels. That's right. Yeah. So I figure just a little bit more tweaking and it'll be finally ready for a proper rip. I think we're going to take this thing out to Busco Beach, which is where we hold Mini Mayhem. Speaking of Mini Mayhem, it's looking like we're going to have to postpone our spring event. So it's looking like fall 2021 now, uh, just so things can die down with the virus and we can be sure we're being as safe as we can. Uh, but thanks for watching this episode, everybody. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to Cars and Cameras for future updates on our trophy cart, on our four-wheel drive Bronco Power Wheels build, on our upcoming 919cc cross cart swap. We got a lot of big stuff going on, uh, so be sure to subscribe for all of that. If you like what we're doing here and you want to help support our future videos, go to our website, cars-cameras.com, and pick up one of our hats. We have It'll Be Fine. We have send it bend it mend it which is a trucker variation we have hats we have stickers we have hoodies we got a little bit of everything um facebook at cars and cameras reviews and instagram at john underscore cars and cameras for sneak peeks on what we are up to check me out at isaac it'll be fine there it is thanks again for watching guys we will catch you next time yeah. you guys ever watch zoom when you were when Come you were a kid. Zoom. You watch Zoom. Zoom too? I guess the Zoom font. You Dude, know what I'm saying? It was the only thing that was on when I got off, for, uh, went for lunch from work. Are you serious? You watch it was Zoom? Either, it was either soaps or Zoom. <laughs> Dude, I love Zoom. That was like my favorite show.